Hey DMS, welcome to this week's broadcast. I'm Jack. And I'm Cora. Hey, I bet I can guess what card you draw. Deal. It's a Jack. Nope, you're wrong. Let's head to the real Jack to see if he can do any better. Alright, do you want to see a magic trick? I do. Alright. Big card. Like any card. Any card. Okay. Don't show me the card. I'll show you the card. Okay. I'll look at the card. Show the camera the card. Okay. You got the card? Okay. Ready? Yeah, right, right. then I just throw it back. Oh, oh no. I have to like put it in the deck. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Would you be able to identify this card by the thing inside this deck? Uh no. No. Camera! Like to uh, prove wrong? I don't think so. Uh, I don't see it. All right. See it. Just your card. That is my card. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. He found my card. <laughs> yeah. Look at your card. Don't show me the card. Remember the card. Alright. Ready? Put, put the card back. Right. Is there any way that the camera would be able to, or you, would be able to identify a card? No. No? Okay. Cool. What's this card? Yeah. Nice. That's my magic trick. Card? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Put the card back. Ready? Mm -hmm. Is there any way you'd be able to identify this card? In the no way. No. There's no way. Okay. Is this going on? Yeah. I did. Yes, it is. What is this your card? <laughs> <Are you laughs> it actually kidding? was, yeah. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. <laughs> I, okay, this is okay. No, let them see me. That, that actually was not stage. He just asked me to do this, and I, that's actually my. Yeah. Magic tricks are always a great way to have some fun and impress people. I'm Jack, and I'm signing off with DMS Broadcasting. Have you ever wanted a remake of any movie? Mm, it has to be Ferris Bueller. Well, you're in luck. Let's go see Luke and Andrew's mini movie remakes. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they didn't doubt it for a second. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? The key to faking out the parents is the clammy hands. It's a really nonspecific symptom. I'm a big believer in it. A lot of people tell you a phony fever is a dead lock. If you get a nervous mother, you can end up in a doctor's office. That's worse than school. You fake a stomach cramp, and while you're bent over, moaning and wailing, you lick your palms. Now, it might seem childish and stupid, but so is middle school. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around, you could miss it. I do have a test today, and that wasn't baloney. It's about European socialism, and frankly, I don't see the point. I'm not European. I don't plan on being European. So who cares if they're socialists? They could be fascists, anarchists. It wouldn't change the fact that I don't have a car. Axum. Here. Davison. Here. Epler. Here. Freegon. Here. Manus. 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 
Manus. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this guy who knows this kid who's going out with this girl that saw Luke pass out at Noodles & Co. last night. Thank you, Cora. No problem whatsoever. Have you been to any of the track meets lately? No, I haven't gotten around to it. Did you at least hear about Keegan breaking the discus record? No. Let's go to Michael to learn more about it. What's up, DMS? It's Michael. And some of you may not know, but on our track meet on April 5th, Keegan Maynard beat the school record in discus. So I'm going to go interview him and have him talk a little bit about setting the record. How long have you been throwing discus? For about two years now. And what made you want to throw discus? Well, my sister started doing track and I just thought it was really cool and I was looking into the throwing half and I just thought discus would be a fun event for me. Um, what form do you like to use? Um, it's called the full spin. And why do you like to use that? It gets me the furthest distance, like I can throw further with that throw. And do you recommend people to try and throw discus next to track season? Um, I'd say if they're willing to, yes, and just put a lot of work into it if you're planning on doing it. Alright, thank you. That's all for my segment. See you guys next time, DMS. Summer's coming around and we all know where the best place to go is. It has to be Worlds of Fun. <laughs> yep. Let's go see Charlie's segment on that. Hey DMS, it's Charlie, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the rides coming to Worlds of Fun this year. Let's go. Hey DMS, it's Charlie. Yo, it's Rob, what's up? Okay, so um, Rob, do you know anything about the new rides coming to Worlds of Fun this year? I do. There is a new one called the Nordak Chaser or something. It's like kind of a biking ride, I think. Yeah. It seems pretty legit. Um, I don't know if it's going to be my favorite or not, but we'll see. So what is your favorite ride at Worlds of Fun? My favorite ride is uh, probably the Mamba. You mm -hmm. know, it's pretty dope. Sometimes when you get up there at the top and it's like nighttime, you can see the sunset. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. What's your least favorite ride there? My least favorite ride? I'm gonna have to say the spinny dragons or whatever. Because mm -hmm. there's such a big line. I mean, and thing it's like four seconds long. It's yeah. not even a good ride. So do you know anything about the Timberwolf Reborn? Um, no, are they redoing it? Yeah, they're redoing it so that it's more stable, so people don't fall off. Okay, that is that's good, because that thing hurt my neck. I won't tell you that. It was a neck breaker. That's what I like to call it. Thanks, Robert. No problem. See you dudes there. Now that you know a little bit more about Worlds is Fun, I'll send it back to Cora and Jack in the studio. I keep seeing this book that everyone's carrying around. Gorilla season, right? Yeah. Let's go see Keegan's segment to learn more about it. So both of you got this book last week, is that right? Yes. Yeah. And have you started reading it? A little bit. Yeah. Okay, so what's it about? Can you tell us a little about it? So it's about like the, it's in the Civil War between the uh, Union and the Confederacy. Uh, why do you think your teachers are having you read it? Because we're it's about the Civil, Civil War. So last week, your students checked out the book, Gorilla Season. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the book? Yes, Gorilla Season is an historical novel based here in Clay County, and it describes what's happening as the Civil War is starting in Missouri from the perspective of two teenage boys. Um, it actually mentions Liberty quite a bit, um, Kearney, um, basically like the whole area of Clay County. Okay, and why do you have your students read this book? So we're studying the uh, cause of the Civil War right now, 
And it's kind of an interesting way to kind of focus on what's happening in Missouri. A lot of the stuff that tends to be in textbooks is more like um, Gettysburg and kind of the major battles that are happening back uh, in the eastern part of the country. And guerrilla season really kind of makes it local. And students were able to find out what was happening here, which was actually a lot different than other parts of the country. Okay. And what are some projects that you're going to have your students do based on this book? So as students read, there'll be a couple quizzes. But uh, then towards the end of the book, they'll have um, a variety of options. Um, some of the more popular ones are creating a movie poster, if this was made into a movie. Um, we also have them create an alternate ending. Um, sometimes they can also make a, a video movie trailer. So if this was made into a movie, what would the uh, trailer look like? Um, we've also had some different things with poetry. Um, there's a couple things where they can make uh, like a graphic uh, novel out of part of the book. So there's a whole bunch of different options for students to kind of show um, what they're learning about in the book as they finish it up. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoy this book, DMS. This is Keegan signing off for DMS Broadcasting. That looks like a pretty good book. I might have to read it sometime. Hey, I hear Sam starting up a daily vlog. Just like Casey Neistat himself. Let's go check out his first vlog. No. This is going to be a vlog. What's up, DMS? It's Sam here in your first edition that will probably ever air on the broadcast. But this is my vlog. And um, in this edition, we'll probably be getting a little bit of footage of Luke Manis's segment that you guys maybe have or have not seen, maybe a little bit of behind the scenes stuff on the broadcast. And then just a little bit of vlog-like material for me. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So um, hope you all enjoy. How you doing, Cheese? Don't put this in. I'm, I'm, uh, it's a vlog. I have to put it in. Okay. We're going to the gym. Let's go. Can't do it, Sam. I'm just gonna make sure, cause I really. Is that it? And neither one of these two are your cards. Well, we're gonna try it anyway. I don't know. I just I, I have a weird feeling on this one. Go ahead and slap these cards with me. Slap. 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 Is this your? Card? <gasps> yes. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> This dude, oh my god. He's like a, what's yeah. his name? He's a wizard. Are you? We're coming to the end of another broadcast. Yep, and you know what we have to say. Have, have a, a good, good weekend, DMS. DMS. It's, it's recording. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Bad. Yeah, it actually is. It's not recording. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, hey. Is there any way?
Oh, I just dropped that card. Is there any way you'd be able to tell that card for me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have one. <laughs>